limit comparison test. Limit comparison test says that if you suppose that you have xn and yn, these are two sequences which are strictly positive. Okay, so all the terms in these sequences are strictly positive. And that we know that xn upon yn, xn upon yn tends to r, where r is a positive real number. Then, then there are two things that can happen. Then, number one, if say r is greater than 0, okay, if r is greater than 0, now r belongs to r plus means, r plus essentially is r union 0, okay. So, it includes all positive numbers as well as 0. Okay, when you're talking about R plus plus, that means strictly positive numbers. Okay, real numbers. So, it, it, there are two possibilities that can happen. Either R is strictly greater than 0 or R equals to 0. Now, in case this R is strictly greater than 0, then we have that the series which is generated by Xn, series the series which is generated by xn by xn is convergent is convergent if and only if if and only if the series generated by yn is converging. Series generated by yn is converging. Okay, so what we are trying to say is that in each term, each ratio x1 by y1, x2 by y2, Okay, these are all positive ratios tending towards R. Okay, then in that scenario, the, se the series that will be created by Xn and Yn, the relationship will be that in case Xn is convergent, Yn will be convergent. In case Yn is convergent, Xn will be convergent. But the same doesn't hold when we are talking about R equals to 0. If R equals to 0, then the series generated by Yn. In case that is convergent, then the series generated by uh, Xn will be convergent. Okay. In case this is 0, then the series generated by Yn is convergent this will imply that the series generated by xn is convergent okay so that is how it will happen now the use of this theorem essentially comes out when even the limit uh, comparison and the comparison theorem. Now, this use comes when you know some standard series or sequences and you know something about their convergence, divergence, then probably you can you know, easily use this. Now, for example, okay, let us look at the series generated by 1 upon root n plus 1. Okay, 1 upon root n plus 1. Series generated by this sequence. Okay, series generated by this sequence. Now, this is a positive sequence, strictly positive, strictly positive. And similarly, even 1 upon root n is strictly positive. Right? Now let us look at the ratio. Let us look at 1 upon root n upon 1 upon root n plus 1. 
this ratio is 1 which is greater than 0, right? So that means that by limit comparison test what we can say that series generated by 1 upon root n converges if and only if series generated by root n plus 1 is convergent okay and it and in case in case this diverges that would mean that this will diverge and indeed 1 upon root n diverges 1 upon root n diverges summation 1 upon root n diverges okay it diverges because it's a generalized form where the p series you have p uh, equals to half okay and we know you have divergence we've seen that between 0 and 1 it converges only when you have uh, p greater than half right so this will imply that 1 upon root n plus 1 diverges so this series will diverge and we've used limit comparison test to check it and this is because we know something about this series, okay? So, a previous, a prior knowledge of uh, some sequences and series will help us use these comparison tests.